we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Being the worst of evil, I cannot realize. Please forgive me. Even though you tell us that we're evil, we cannot hear as beasts that are perishing. Please forgive. Please forgive us. How is it that we can't become a blessed man, but we're still being stubborn? And not even knowing that we're living within so much sin. It's because I have so much sin that I'm stubborn, stubborn and my children become crazy. We can't. He- we don't know how to hear the Father's voice. Please forgive us for being a beast that is perishing and to help us to receive help at this dawn. If we're not in Christ, we do not have patience. We come if we want to come. We go when we want to go. Help us not to become a beast that is perishing. Help us not to become someone who is so evil. The Holy Trinity is eternal. If you're in Christ, you have patience, so you are. You have. You're eternal. At this dawn, may we receive these blessings of eternity. May we endure to the end, so that the troubles in our family will be solved. May we pass blessings to our children. May we be a patriot who gives profit to others. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Do you believe? in God who helps at dawn. It's only God who truly helps you. Whose words do you listen to? How much don't you hear this word? Pastor Park, why is it I have to always say the same things? Oh, our church says three, four generations. But some, some... Churches say it comes down for many generations. Well, should I always have to say it goes down to a thousand, ten thousand generations? It's that's what that's it's the same thing in the Bible. It says three, four generations. If you don't solve that, then it goes down another three, four generations. That's one Peter chapter one verse eighteen. So you don't listen to the tapes properly, and you just hear a few, you know, in the middle. You know, because your heart's like that, this is why you don't do well. The only thing that saves me is God's word. Someone who's who eats so picky, you know, you don't. It's there's nothing you get but disease. Let's find Proverbs chapter seventeen, verse twenty-one. It is so sad. God who says He helps at dawn. It's Almighty God who helps. Why can't I make that Almighty help mine? If you're not doing well, there's something that you have done wrong, because there is no lie with God's word. Numbers chapter 23 verse 19. Do I have to always be saying that? That there is no lie to His word. So who is it that is worthy to be a pastor? Whether it be in the three, four theological college at a church, because it's coming out. The fake ch- pastors have nothing to say, and yet they call themselves pastors. If God doesn't acknowledge you, how can you be a pastor? If the pastor is fake, that whole church is fake. Should I o- only be saying those things all the time? After saying it a few times, you should understand and to discern and say, "Oh, that's how it is." God, He kills the fakes and He saves the true. So, is everyone? Is every so? If you go in Christ, then you become worthy. God, He gives us hope, He so that we will do more well. In the world, they they point out your disease, but they can't heal it. God, He after He points something out, if you wash with the blood of Christ, then 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 it's solved. So why is it that you're choosing things not to do well? As you come on Sundays. If you can't come on other days, there are people that God acknowledges. But if you're outside of Christ, if you're a demon, their fa- their family doesn't do well. It is so sad. It is so sad. Let's read together. He who sighs a fool does so to his sorrow, and the father of a fool has no joy. Amen.
So do people look at the Bible properly or in reverse? If you're, out, if you're outside of Christ, then you look at it in reverse. If you're, and so you'll say, it's you that's being ruined. If you're a, it's you that's a heretic and yet you, you condemn others. So you look at the Bible in reverse. Here it says, he who sighs a fool. So you have, you give birth to a child, but they're a fool. Does so to his sorrow. So the parents, they're, they're filled with worries. So after you give birth to a child, when they're young, they're your child. But as they grow up, You know, they're not even your child. That's what people say. Why? After you give birth, you see that they're a fool, so they don't listen to the parents. So because you have a bad relationship between the children and the parents, they say, oh, you know, they... So if you have this foolish child, it's because of the ancestors' sins. Let's find Psalms 139, verse 13. It's because of your ancestors' sins that God, He makes you have disabled children. And as, as they come out, they have diabetes or high blood pressure. People use, people, the doctors, they say that that was disease of older people, but now, now it's, it's all, it's all wrong. So demons, They hate to hear God's word. Even in the Bible, that person is a beast that is perishing. So if you say the Bible to someone and they hate to hear it, that person is so evil. If you have anything to do with them, then you'll be harmed. So you have to quickly discern, then you'll be blessed. If you're right with that person, then you're the same evil person. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20. It's because it's like with like. Why do I keep going this way of bad, doing bad things? You know, most people are deceived in th to thinking that they're good. But if you have your ancestors' demons, you're deceived by yourself. John chapter 8, verse 43, 44. Should I always just be talking about those things? You know, it's so sad. Psalms 139, verse 13. Let's find that. For you formed my inward parts. You wove me in my mother's womb. Amen. So you say that it's your parents that gave birth to you. That's a beast. That is crazy. A beast doesn't have a spirit. They just have demons going inside and outside of them like the like the legion legions. Those people think that it's their parents that gave birth to them. But here it says the Lord created you according to your ancestors' sins. So in the future, if you want good descendants to come out, then you have to repent so thoroughly. Otherwise, they're created according to sin. So before, there was someone in Seoul who couldn't get pregnant, and then they became pregnant, and then they stopped doing forced repentance and departed. So these days, you can see by the ultrasound. So after stopping doing forced repentance, They, they had to abort the baby because, you know, the head had fallen off. You didn't hear that, that testimony from the pastor? So why was that? Why did that happen? Because God, it's God who, who makes everything. So these disasters, you think by eating nutritious things that you're going to have a good, you're going to have good children, good grandchildren. If, if they're born being evil, there's nothing as tormenting as that. So these babies in the womb, they're created according to ancestors' sins. The way to get rid of this is by forced repentance. So why are you tormented? Why do you have a bad relationship with your children? So you're so tormented. If they come out being your sorrow, your, your worries, it's because of ancestors' sins. So ancestors, so how much has it been recorded in, in Exodus chapter 34? So if the children have been made like that, even if the Lord created like them in the womb and they came out like that, you can still be forgiven. But we say, oh, it's the children who are bad. That's why I'm happy, unhappy. That's a mistake. It's because of your sins and your ancestors' sins that these bad children have come out. That's what God is saying. And because you're shameless, those people 
whose consciences are ashamed. They're hiding their heads. That those people, they already have these disasters come to their family. You, it's because they can't repent, so that they don't have shame in their conscience, and so they always grumble and make excuses. They hang out with the demons and listen to the, the, those words, and you barely come out on Sundays, and, and you hang out with people like that. People who just barely come on Sundays. If you're not eating God's word, then you're a dog pig. They're the words of love that's saving them. If you come home from school and you don't revise, then you might as well not be going to school. There was this barber, and his son wanted to go to university, and he said, "Well, you earn it. You know, if you, you know, if you want to go, then you earn it. You know, his father didn't even graduate elementary school. So what? So I asked, why are you doing that to your son? And he said, "There's not one person that he sees who's graduated from university who who does rightly. So he's like, why go there? You might as well, you know, work and become a person. So I said, after I got my haircut, I said, you know, he's not your child. So if he wants to go, you should send him." But if you know you're worried about the money, then you know you lend it to him like a bank loan and tell him to repay it, and so that he, you know you can make him work. Or because it's not your child, so that's all I said. You know, if if he doesn't understand, I can't say anything more. If you're trying to catch a goldfish, and you. You use a whole roast chicken. You're not going to catch it. You have to give something really small to catch it. So your child coming out as a fool is because of your sins and your ancestors' sins. It's nothing else. That's what's being taught here. So if we get rid of it by the blood of Christ, forced at repentance. So if your child is like that, then you have no, you have no pleasure in living. If your child is foolish because of your sin, does it end there? Well, because you don't find any pleasures, that's why you seek hobbies. If your child is a fool, then already your spouse relationship is bad. Let's find Proverbs chapter nineteen, verse thirteen. So you you're standoffish with your spouse. But for your child to be obedient, to have true happiness with your spouse, there's nothing but this mystery of Christ. That's what the promise of help at dawn is. So you have a reason to live. But why are we sitting here, looking at your actions? Already, you're wrong. Proverbs chapter twenty, verse eleven. You haven't repented. Already, you have some shame in your conscience. You you sinned. So if you sin. Let's say your child's standing at the the end of a cliff. One more centimeter, they're going to fall. If the parents sin, it's like pushing them. How can we do that? After being given this realization to repent thoroughly and to pull back your child from the from the end of the cliff, or if it's someone else, to pull them back from the cliff. It is so sad. Why is it you come to receive blessings, but you don't receive them, and you just you just pass the time? Someone who cannot realize are they good or are they evil? Daniel chapter twelve verse ten. That person is so evil. So let's live correctly. Let's save our children. So starting from me. In all things, it's me. That's done the wrong. If you if you're standoffish with your spouse, it's because of my sins, and so your child they receive disasters and become foolish. So the problem is me. But if you ask, they always say, "Oh, I'm okay. It's the other person that's the problem." That's truly you're worse than a beast. Who is it that divorces the most? Those who are learned. So if you learn a lot of these lies, these evil people, these beasts, they're mistaken to thinking that they're so smart. And they they're out being the teachers, so they receive the money and teach others lies. That's what's so sad. Does that mean don't teach? Well, teach after becoming a man. Become a a an, a man of honor. I have to be right first and then teach others. You know, in the world they say that the 
fla- the butterflies seek the flowers. But tr- truth is that the butterflies don't seek the flowers, but the scent of the nectar. That is truth. But in the world, they only know what they can see with their eyes. So you pay money to learn these lies that butterflies seek out flowers. So, you know, you learn all these lies and you act like you're smart and that you've got a doctorate. It's because you're so stupid that you're boasting about those things. If you're a man, how could you even speak of those things? Let's do well. It's only God's word that saves us. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 13, let's read it together. A foolish son is destruction to his father, and the contentions of a wife are a constant dripping. Amen. So in verse 21, it said that the child comes out as a fool. So the parents have no reason to live. They have no pleasures. There's no, there's no taste of life. You see these people who are divorced, they say it's only when your children are in your arms that they're your child. Once they get married, they don't know you. You know, they roll their eyes, they talk back. You know, other religions, they say, if your children are tormenting you, if they're rolling their eyes at you, they're not a man. You know, this is something that is unforgivable. Just because it's something that's unforgivable, does that make them into a man? God's teaching us, don't blame the child. It's because of your sins that the children have received these disasters and have become a fool. It's because of your sin. And so your spouse relationship, you're like enemies, so that the worst of enemies, like a constant dripping. You know, this constant dripping is like hell. When? When you have sin and you let it remain. But, you know, the other side always says, oh, it's you that's tormenting me. You know, people say it's the other person that's that's giving me heartache. But what you see in the mirror is you. So what what is tormenting you? That is your sin. So God is saying, it's because of your sin that you ruined your children And so you have no pleasures, pleasure in life. You have a bad spouse relationship. It's because of your ancestors' sins and your sins. So if God has taught us this, he's now given us a d- diagnosis. What is the treatment? Let's find Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7. If you come at dawn and if you do four-step repentance, but some people like, Pastor, we have a bad spouse relationship. If, if we just had money, then we'd be okay. It's not because of money. It's because of evil. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 10 Matthew chapter 15 verse 19 the evil that comes from your heart it's 10,000 things so be, because you love money because your ancestors have done bad things with money that's why it's because of money that you have a bad spouse relationship oh our spouse relationship if, if we just had money we'd be okay when I hear these idiots speaking it's because of the evil in your heart your ancestors They've done bad things with other people's money. And so that's why, because of money, you have a bad spouse relationship and you're not being, your money problems aren't being solved. So if you repent of your ancestors' sins, then you'll be released. And then some people are like, oh, we have money, we've got all those things, but our personalities. So whether it's this or that, it's the same. If you have problems, you have to release it by forced out repentance. Oh, even after doing false repentance, if you're not released, it's because your ancestors, they've done so many bad things. So even though you get rid of those things at the front, there's still more behind. But a day is like 1,000 years, one Peter. So if you repent one day properly, then a thousand years worth of sins will disappear. By this dawn's help, let's live. Let's save our children. Our country has to live. Let's end this. The difficulties in your family, your personality, your children's personality problems, a bad spouse relationship is all because of me. You know, you'll experience if you have a bad spouse relationship and your children are giving you heartache. If you look towards your husband, you're like, oh, he lies so much. He just has affairs. You think that you're a complete enemy with that. Oh, I would never have an affair. 
Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm totally not double-minded. But if you keep repenting, it's me that's doing it. So you have had an affair, but you, you, you completely forget about it as if you've never done it because you're deceived by your demons. So you're like, oh, I would never do that. But it's, and you say it's only my husband that is a cheater. But if you keep repenting, you, you end up saying, yes, that is my sin. If you repent thoroughly, it comes out straight away. So that, that black thing that you see, It's not that person that's so dirty. If you look, it's me. If you repent and you wash, then what you see in the mirror is clean. So all of the world you have to see is your mirror. So after repenting, you know what's amazing? If your spouse relationship was bad, a lot of people, they, they live in separate rooms, even in the same house. They live together because of their children or because, you know, to because of their morals but, but they have separate rooms and always you're living thinking yeah i'm gonna see i'm um, uh, you know let's see what happens to you but at the beginning when you have separate rooms you grumble and complain you want to be divorced but it changes to thanksgiving it's so strange the environment's the same i'm the same but why do you change to thanksgiving it means you're thankful in all things And if that, if that thanksgiving goes even further, that's when you're able to repent of those purposes and sins as mine. So where are you? Are you where you just can't stand someone? Or are you repenting that it's my sin and you're at peace? And to even go further, to repent thoroughly is that that person's sins as mine. Philippians chapter 2 verse 4. So Jesus Christ comes in my heart and I have so much peace that truly is a person of faith where where am i so god wants to help at dawn why don't you receive help because you're not doing this even now you're grumbling complaining making excuses if you repent properly already your actions completely change after you repent do you know what changes you forgive yourself And you realize that it's you that is the bad person. If you don't repent, you never, you can never know that it's you that's the, the bad person. So where am I? So the problems that are in front of me, God, it's because he wants you to repent of those things. Micah chapter 6 verse 9. You have to receive it meekly and repent. So it says to obey not to repent. Well, you have to repent in order to obey. That's when he will give you wisdom that makes you strong and powerful. So we don't have time to read the Bible verses, but there are a lot of tapes. Please listen to them. If you eat a lot of God's word, it's good for you. If you eat a lot of the world's food, you'll get indigestion, but no matter how much you eat of God's word, you don't get indigestion. So if you have problems, with your spouse, your children, then you have no reason to live. So these women, as they reach their twilight years and men, they end up retired and they then they then that's when they divorce. They say it's a trend that's come from Japan, but all people are like that. You didn't have any reason to live, but now that, you know, your husband is retired and isn't bringing home a wage, you're like, let's get divorced. You know, it's not a trend. It's all, That's what happened from the beginning. So to get rid of divorce, for spouses to be happy, for children to be obedient, what is the way? It's by repenting of my sin. Is this amen? If your children are disobedient and you have a bad spouse relationship, if you don't have any pleasures in life, it's because of your sins and your ancestors' sins. If we are forgiven of these things, everything will be do, everything will do well. We need to have a new start. That's how I live. My country, my children live. We have to go this way. There is no other way. Which religion has a way? They don't. Let's read Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace. Amen.
It's because of my ancestors' sins and my sins. It's because I've become a fool. And that's why you gave birth to a fool. Already they were a fool in the womb. So if you raise a fool, in a little while they go off and do what they want. So you don't have any pleasures. And you have your, your spouse relationship, your enemies. You know, if you watch on TV, all the dramas, that's what it's about because they, there are no answers. So if it's been pointed out, if you do forced air repentance with the blood of Christ, then your spouse relationship becomes good, your children become obedient. That is where you have pleasure in life. Someone without pleasures. To, to seek this enjoyment, it's when, you, it's when you repent of your sins. Don't say to someone else, you do it, I have to do it. Let's find happiness. Let's find enjoyment. Why, do, why, do I, why didn't I have pleasures, a reason to live? Before, you know, I was just okay with my spouse, but more and more I can't stand them. It's because your sin is increasing. Today, let's end it. If we just, if we just solve the problem of sin, let's, let's pass this to our children. Let's all receive this this dawn. Let's all have a new start. In Christ, it's a new start. Let's all pray. Lord, how much do you want to give us happiness? To those who do force their repentance who are righteous, you give happiness. Why is it that I have no reason to live? I have no pleasures. There is, there's so much suicide. Why is it that I'm in this state? Thank you for teaching us. It's because of my sin. It's because of my sins and my ancestors' sins. Thank you for telling us this. To have our good spouse relationship, for our children to be obedient. Help us to release them from their, from their torment. It's because of the parents' sin that, that the children become stubborn. They go towards dementia. May we be forgiven of our sins. So our spouse relationship becomes good and our children become obedient so that we look toward the light and that they'll learn to be patriots in our country. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Let's repent as much as we want and let's, with the dawn's help, let's end this. Let's change it to blessings. Let's change it to enjoyment.